Welcome to Just the Good Bits. Today we're going to do low carb Salisbury steak. Don't you miss that great diner food? Well, we're going to show you how to do it at home, low carb. Let's get started. We start off with two pounds of ground beef, and then we're going to add black pepper, salt, and garlic powder to the meat mixture. Mix it up and start making patties. So let's get started with that. It's one teaspoon of ground black pepper. Salt, two teaspoons. One teaspoon of garlic powder. And I'm gonna mix it up and make patties. We're gonna make patties, and I'm using a a a, uh, a patty maker. The reason for that is it just looks better. You don't have to have it. You don't need to have it necessarily. You can make them by hand. But I'm making this for you on YouTube. I want the presentation to be right. Doesn't that look like a great burger? It's gonna be Salisbury steak, but it. Still does the burger thing. Anyway, I think you've got the idea. Results sits nice looking Salisbury steaks. Let's uh, set up to cook and get started on that next. Let's get started. We're going to put about four tablespoons of butter in here. Once we get this spread out in the pan, we're going to add the patties. And we're going to cook the patties. Now, medium heat, cook the patties four to five minutes on each side. This is what your patties should look like when you're finished cooking them. Now, we're going to go back to the sauce and reheat, and we're going to remove them so we can make our sauce. Let's start the sauce. Two large onions sliced. Good, so they'll heat through. And you want to turn this down low. You don't want to rush this. What this is going to do is sweat the bottom of the pan and the brown bits at the bottom. It's going to get all that up, dissolve that to incorporate that flavor in your sauce. And you don't want to rush this process. This process probably takes 25 minutes. So plan the time in accordance with your prep time. I mean, in your, in your cook time. You rush it. You wind up with some onions overcooked and some that aren't. So just turn it down and take your time. We got the mushrooms, excuse me, we got the onions cooked halfway. Now it's time to add the mushrooms. Yes, yeah, start off with two large onions, slice them, and then four ounces of mushrooms and slice those. Get them worked in. We're going to put the lid back on and cook for another 10 minutes and check it. Now our onions and mushrooms are both tender, so we're ready to continue making the sauce. We're going to add two cups of water. We're waiting for the water to get warm. We're starting to bubble, so we're getting there. Now we're going to take a little bit out of here and mix in with our cornstarch. We've got mix in with our cornstarch. We've got uh, one tablespoon of cornstarch, which comes out to seven carbs.
I'm going to dissolve this first, make a little slurry, so you don't get the lumps in there. You see, otherwise we have lumps lost in there. Especially since we got uh, onions and, air, and mushrooms in here, you got all these other things. You just wouldn't get it all dissolved. Now I'm going to have to add a little more liquid to get this done. It and we're going to do it one more time before we put it in. Meanwhile, we're going to put in beef base. You can get this at Walmart. This, this particular one came from Sam's. We're going to put in one teaspoon of beef base and dissolve it. We're going to do the same thing because we're going to dissolve it on the side to make sure it all gets dissolved properly. And we're going to add it right back. This is not as critical as the cornstarch to get this all. It just works better if we uh, dissolve it first. There's a lot of salt in this, so you notice I didn't add any salt to the sauce. The salt is in the beef base. After we get where we think we're at the completed stage, we'll check it for salt again. In. I'm going to make a kind of a well in the middle here to, to mix our cornstarch in the best we can. start seeing a gravy come together. We're going to return the patties to that. Turn that down. Well, these got to warm up anyway. Put it in there. We're going to put these in here. We're going to bring it to boil for the corn starts to finish thickening. That'll also get the, the, the patties up to par. And then we'll be ready to serve. Juices from the burger go right in. I mean, excuse me, Salisbury steaks. <laughs> we'll turn our pan up a little bit so we get the boil going. Let's put some wish shard in there, folks. Teaspoon of Wishshire. Two teaspoons of Wishshire. We doubled the recipe. And you see, we got nice thick sauce. Return the patty so it's coated. Turn this back down to a simmer, and we're going to get our plates ready and plate this to show you how it came out. This is it, Salisbury steak with a sauce and mash. Our mash is cauliflower. Uh, the video link for the mash is in the description. Now we're going to do the taste test. you saucers look for some place to do your sauce low carb this is it check this out folks that's great you gotta try it please like and subscribe give us a thumbs up comment tell us what you think
Make your own. Let us know how it came out. Thank you.